How much knee protection do you need for adventure and dual sport riding? The answer will vary for everyone. The options, no knee protection at all, knee pads, these are usually sewn into riding pants, knee guards, and finally, knee braces. We will look at the pros and cons of each. But first, ensure you have some knee protection. Last year, I was on a one-week off-road tour. On the first morning, a rider fell off at walking speed when his front wheel hit a rock. No knee protection, fractured tibial plateau and knee surgery the next day. $7,000 down the drain. A set of $30 knee guards would have prevented this. Second case, a brand new dirt rider asks me to show him some local trails, but he shows up without knee guards. I suggest this is quite risky, but he says, hey, let's go ahead. 100 meters in, he crashes on this easy track, hurts his knee and has to limp home. Personally, I think knee pads sewn into your riding pants are the minimum requirement, but these don't always protect you. They can move around, when your leg is flexed or straight, they might not cover your knee. Next, knee guards. These don't move around and provide much better protection, especially if they are long enough to provide shin protection as well. But don't be fooled by fancy looking knee guards. Generally, they won't provide more protection. Also, beware of knee guards that claim to be knee braces. EVS are the worst offenders with these glorified knee guards. Any proper knee brace has four heavy duty straps to prevent hyperextension of the knee. If there is only one upper strap, it's not a knee brace. Next, knee braces, the best protection. They're extremely good at preventing hyperextension of the knee and they can significantly reduce the chances of injury with side impacts and twisting. Viewers often ask me if they should use knee guards or pay more for proper knee braces. The answer will be different for everyone. Are uh, you a sedate rider who mainly stays on roads and the occasional dirt road? Knee guards will probably be fine. But if you are an aggressive rider or you enjoy riding rough terrain, you may prefer knee braces. Age is important. Our ligaments and muscles get weaker with age, so the risk of knee injury increases. Comfort, a very important factor. Knee braces are much less effective with loose straps, but tight straps can be uncomfortable, especially in the sitting position. Custom knee braces can reduce this. I use the CTI custom knee brace, very expensive, but you barely notice them. See our video comparing knee guards and knee braces. What are the most common knee injuries? This research for off-road riders found that ACL injuries are the most common. Knee braces can halve the rate of injury. Next is damage to the meniscus. Again, knee braces roughly halve the rate of injury. Third, the MCL and knee braces are 80% effective. Interested in buying some knee braces? See our video about how to choose the best braces. What else can we do to reduce knee injuries? Some riders will extend their inside leg for aggressive cornering. Don't slide your boot along the ground. Keep your boot in the air to help stabilize the bike. Body positioning. In rough terrain, you should have knees slightly bent, ready to absorb impacts. Don't ride with completely straightened legs. Develop your balance skills so you are less likely to put a foot down in rough terrain. Practice figure eights with full lock turns. Motorbike setup. Ensure your foot pegs have plenty of grip. For taller riders, stock foot pegs can sometimes be too small. Me, I use the Fastway Adventure foot pegs, which provide a huge platform for my big feet. Tall or short riders, get the ergonomics of your motorbike sorted. See our relevant videos. And finally, fitness. Regular exercise strengthens your muscles and ligaments, which can make a huge difference with preventing milder knee injuries. Obesity also places extra stress on your knees. Lose that weight. For more tips, see our video about reducing knee injuries. I'm really keen to hear about your experiences. Any knee injuries? What sort of knee protection did you have? 
What are you using now? Let us know in the comments.